Okay, now that you've loaded the CM7 zip file onto your uh, micro SD card that you wrote the image to, you need to take your Nook now, and we're going to have to turn it off. And uh, again, this is not a rooted Nook. So we're going to say power off. Now once it's off, we're going to turn it over, and back here is where the SD card, the micro SD card is inserted. You just pull this up like this, take your micro SD card, and you kind of have to feel around a little, and this is not the best light, but if you lay it down flat, there we go, eventually it'll start letting you push it in, slide it in there, and kind of push it until you can feel the spring-loaded mechanism take it, and then just put this back on. Now we're going to turn it on, and the uh, micro SD card that we wrote the image to and then loaded the CM7 uh, zip file to is going to come up and make changes to the micro SD card and install the CM7. So just hold the power button. And then now we just wait. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see it, but we've got the little Linux penguin up here. And this is just the system information explaining what precisely it's doing to the micro SD card that we loaded. So it's just going to do its thing, and we're not going to touch anything, and eventually, it hasn't gotten there yet, but what it's going to do is it's going to tell us that it's safe to reboot. At which point then there's another step we want to do. to boot up, check everything out, and then we'll go through the steps of loading Google Apps and the Android market. It's just about finishing up. Okay, it says all steps complete, preparing for a reboot. It is safe to power off now. Now what it's gonna do, um, since it doesn't, it's not able to power off your device itself, the screen just went blank. The device is not off yet, we have to do that ourselves. And um, you can't probably tell in the video, the device still has a very, very light glow instead of just being a flat off black. I'm just gonna hold the power button down until we get a good flat black and we know that the device is truly off. Okay, it's off now. So what we're gonna do is, now we're gonna turn this on, just by holding the power button down again. We'll turn this this way. And what's gonna happen, since the SD card is still in there, is now that CM7 has been installed to the micro SD card, it's gonna boot from that and we're going to boot into the CM7 environment. So we've got a little Android notice right here. 
And the major reason I show you this is just so that you know what to expect whenever you're going through this process. Oh, there is the Cyanogen Mod 7 logo, which is really pretty. It doesn't come across nearly as well in the video as it does in real life. And this tells us that we've installed the CM7 correctly to the micro SD card. Now we're going to let this finish booting up and then we're going to turn it off and do one more thing to the micro SD card in order to load um, the Google Apps and the Google Market. And normally it doesn't take this long to, to boot up, but this is the first time for this uh, micro SD card that we just installed. And this is the CM7 fresh out of the box. You've got a couple apps up here, contacts, clock, a little nice Android helper guide to give you CM7 tips. Uh, if you hold the apps down, you can move them around just like any tablet device that you probably used to. Uh, these are the little buttons. You can get six across here. Very nice. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and turn this off. So we're going to hold the power button down and we're going to select power off. And yes, we do want this turned off. And it says shutting down. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over again. We're going to take the SD card out again. So, you guys should be old hands at this by now. Goodness gracious. I've found that the easiest way to get it out, and it's still not particularly easy, is to, ah, there we go, is to use your fingernail to press it in against the spring mechanism and then kind of let gravity help you uh, pull it out further. Um, now we're going to load the micro SD card back into our computer 